Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a chit chat, get ready with me using new products. Um, I have a bunch of new stuff, 21 days of beauty stuff, a new palette, a really beautiful palette. Well, a couple actually gorgeous palettes that I want to show you all. And I know you guys are, I am, I'm getting tired of filming them. I know you guys are probably getting tired of hauls. So I thought, what else can I do that's not a haul, but I want to show you guys some stuff that I got. And I thought, I'll just do a chit chat, get ready with me. So if you want to see how I got this look and hear me whine and complain and chit chat about whatever I was talking about, then stick around. Okay, guys, um, I already have one. My base may I look really weird. I have on my foundation, my powder, my brows, everything like that. Like I said, it's just going to be a chit chat, get ready with me using new, trying new products. So I want to go ahead and tell you two products I use that are new. Um, one of them is the It Cosmetics CC Plus. This is, I got this um, during the, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and I use this to set my foundation and um, I like it, I like it. And then this, which is so good, this is the um, Lush Chocolate, it's just called Chocolate, Chocolate Lip Scrub. It looks like that, it's new, it's part of like their new line. And oh my gosh, it it tastes like you guys know that orange that's really like chocolate made out of chocolate and you hit it and it breaks apart. That's exactly what it smells and tastes like. So anyway, and I went ahead and scrubbed my lips with that. It's really hard to get like get out of there. You I use my little spatula to scoop it up out of there, and you've got to like really like put it straight on your lips because it just crumbles. But it's really moisturizing. It has a lot of oils in it and all that good stuff. So we are going to be using the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. This palette gives me old school Too Faced vibes. Like this beautiful packaging. This is like felt right here. And I wanna show you these colors. Today, I think we're gonna be doing, in, going into these two, maybe a little bit of this gold. And um, I don't know, we'll see. Just a chit chat, get ready with me. So I'm just gonna jump right in it. Um, guess where we're getting ready to go? absolutely nowhere I will probably wash this off I will sit and watch TV with my dog and then wash this off and go to bed and what did I just do with that brush y'all I'm losing I had my brush what did I do with that hold up oh <laughs> my Mac um, 242 brush so first I'm just gonna take the shade hot and bothered and I think I'm gonna do kind of like the halo effect like inner corner out of corner I'm gonna leave the lid for probably this um, lighter gold honey pot and then do a buff honeymoon and honey butter up into the crease so let's just go ahead and start doing it you guys can watch me put it on but yeah like so I'm really you can't uh, I wouldn't call it bored um lonely I'm lonely my kids, my babies, have went with the in-laws, my father-in-law and his wife, their papa and Mimi, to Tennessee for spring break. My husband is working tonight. We have, you know, we're going to do some stuff. They're going till Thursday. So we're going to do some stuff, um, you know, this week, but he's working tonight. So it's just me and the dog. And girl, I am, I don't know what to do with myself. Like my kids leave and I'm like, but what? Like, what do I do? What do I do? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to film a video and we're just going to chit chat and get ready to go nowhere and just play with makeup. Um, I've got a bunch of new stuff from the 21 Days of Beauty and just the new like spring releases and stuff like that that I wanted to try. So I thought I will try it on camera. And, yeah, so here we are. Um, I ordered, sorry, I ordered the Jeffree Star, Star Manny collab. Um, I was able to, I'm telling you, I was on that website. I am Eastern Standard Time. So I was on that website at 12, I think it was 1 o'clock was the um, time for here. I was, I mean, I was refreshing the, the website all morning just in case, like, they made a mistake on the time that they gave, and I just refreshed it all morning, and at about 12.58, I saw that, um, 
like the individuals started products started like rolling on there so I was like okay oh my gosh like here we go here we go you know I was like all excited and sorry my brushes are sitting right here and so there like there it was so I grabbed it up really quick and then of course it was like oh, okay you have to wait um I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a little bit of the honeymoon on my Japanesque um 836 brush but it was like, okay, you know, you got to wait kind of thing because of the volume of customers. So I sat there, I started panicking. I was like, oh my gosh, like what if it sells out? And then it took me to check out. So I, let me tell you, I checked out so fast. I like, I didn't even check my address, like double check it. I just like did it. I was like, forget it. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, but I got it right. Thank goodness. And it went through, but I know, t I mean, plenty of people, like a friend of mine, I was told her, like, okay, it's up, girl. You better go. Run. And she went, like, just a few minutes after me. Like, because, you know, I was busy checking out. So, as soon as I was done checking out, I text her. And they were gone. They were sold out of the bundle. Now, the, the individuals are still there. But you don't get the box. Um, you don't get the little box and all that kind of stuff. And then, most importantly, you don't get the discount. Um, with the bundle price it's 50 and then with my shipping it came to like 56 the individuals it's like 70 something so you know you don't get that discount so anywho i'm really 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 excited to get that like more excited than i think i've been to get anything in a long time okay i'm just like buffing that like so right now i just have hot and bothered and i'm buffing it up into the crease with honeymoon and i'm gonna really blow it out here in a minute with honey butter Okay, so let's keep doing that. But anywho, um, I'm gonna go back to my Mac brush and pick up Honey Pot, the gold color, and I'm gonna put that right on the center of the lid. So yeah, I have that coming. Um, I am deciding on the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I really want that. I think it looks so neat. I've always loved that movie. I love Johnny Depp. So I think I'm going to get, I don't know. The palette is like 50 or 50, more than 50. It's 60. It's 59. I think I might get the, the highlight palette. It's like a highlight and blush palette. I think I might just get that. Um, because it looks nice. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe R40 and I'm going to take honey butter. And I'm just going to start really blow. This is going to be a really easy look. And then I'm just going to start really blowing that out. <laughs> yeah, I am going to miss. I do. They do this every year. My um, in-laws with the kids, which I think is amazing. And they love their Papa. They love their Mimi. And, but I am not like you guys, I'm a stay at home mom. I always have been, uh, we are blessed that, you know, we could do that and I don't have to work. I mean, I do, I like to do some freelance and freelance makeup artists and things like that. But, um, you know, I don't have a job job that is a job job, but I don't have a job where I go clock in at a certain time and someone tells me when to be there and stuff. Okay, now I'm just taking my big Sigma Large Fluff E50 and picking up the matte um, cream shade Heaven, and I'm going to just place it on my brow bone. But, um, so my kids are, you know, we're together 24-7, and we're like the three musketeers, <laughs> me and them, and they are just my life. They are like my lifeline. Um, so when they are, uh oh, wrong brush. When they're gone, I really had, the first couple days for me is really rough. I'm very, um, I don't know, attached. And it could be an unhealthy attachment. I don't know. Um, I mean, I love my kids to death. And, you know, I have all that uh, regular parent. And I know my in-laws would die for my kids. But I have that unhealthy, like, okay, what if somebody snatches them up and they're in a different state? What if... Um, my younger son still is not the best swimmer. So, okay, well, what if uh, he goes under? Or nobody, You know, just those crazy thoughts. I have, I have those going on. And, um, you know, it's not fun. But I know they're having... Okay, guys, sorry. My um, memory card was full. I tried to record a collection video. I tried. Hence the word tried. 
it took, and I, I wasn't even done, it took up, I'm just touching up, the colors already did, it took up my whole, um, like, card space, I had to keep deleting, my camera died, my uh, camera overheated, like, everything that could have went wrong did during that, oh my gosh, I just got so, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have to plan it and do, like, okay, um, you know, my vanity tour that day, and then, like, my palette collection, and then my, uh, nine drawer, what's in my Alex nine drawer, like, I'm gonna do it like that, because trying to do all of it at once is not, that's not gonna work, so, um, yeah, that's what we'll do, I'm just touching up all the colors today, I'm telling you guys, this is so simple, um, I'm already done with the lid, I'm looking for, my little, I know I'm shaking the camera. I'm looking for my little inner corner brush. It is like the perfect, it's a little Sedona lace brush. Where I am. And then I'm going to need that. Here it goes. Um, it looks like that. And it's just perfect. So then I'm going to take the shade Pink Cheeks and Poodle. They're like these pinky um, little shimmer colors. And I'm going to pop those right in the inner corner for, sorry just to um brighten up see how that already brightened up brighten up that inner corner um sorry my goodness doing tutori tutorials <laughs> tutorials doing tutorials is more difficult than what like you would think okay then i'm gonna take uh, my little morphe smudge brush this is the E36, and I'm going to start with Hot and Bothered, okay, and I'm going to pick it up and just start running it under the lash line, but doing, oh, see, this is so difficult, because usually, you know, you're not worried about, like, is, you, you have the, can the you know, mirror all up in your face, like, duh, so you're not worried about, like, oh, can they see me, okay, so I'm just running that under the lash line, you have my little cat ears to keep my hair back. I got them at um, Forever 21. Very cute. Is that better? But yeah, so I thought, you know what? I Instead of sitting here moping, because my kids are having a good time. Instead of me sitting here moping like a loser, I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to film a video. Um, I've already done one hand of my nails. And I, that's another video. Let me tell you guys something. I have found a product that is going to save me boatloads of money. I am, I keep my nails done all the time. Okay, now I'm going to pick up Honeymoon, the lighter shade. I keep my nails done all the time. Okay, I totally got sick to death of going and sitting and getting them done. And here's the worst thing. It's really expensive and they never got them the way I wanted them. I always left and would go home and file. And some of you may relate. But I would go home and like file and, you know, mess with them. And then I still wouldn't be happy. I would sit there and stare at them and be like, oh, you know, this one looks crooked. This one this. I mean, how many of you can, can relate to that? And then you're sitting there kind of ticked off because you just spent that much money. You know, mine was something like ba basically $50 every time I got them done. And, um, you know, if they did a good job, I wouldn't mind spending that much. Okay, I'm just picking up my little pencil brush. And then I'm going to pick up the shade Honey Butter and then, like, just smoke all that out. But, you know, if they did a really awesome job, I would not mind at all. But every single time, never failed. And, and don't even think about, like asking for a coffin nail or a stiletto nail or something like that because around here no they're not good at it so i got this product and i'm telling you it is the same exact thing as acrylics like you have on acrylic nails they, they, it is acrylic it is so simple to do and you can do it yourself the shape you want now i'm still like playing with it and stuff like that um you know, but uh, so far, like the first time, like I did these. My Okay, let me show you. Hold on. We went there, didn't we? It went there quick. Now, that is, it's not perfect, but I did these nails. 
these are glitter and then the these are um and you can tell i mean they're just and now these are my still my acrylics just as thick like they're they're acrylic nails they're not coming off i'm telling you like i sit there and try to tug at one because i wasn't like completely happy with it mm -mm. no 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 not coming off so i'm telling you and let me go ahead and tell you what it's called but i'm gonna do a video on it it's called um kiera sky it is the dip acrylic and it is the kiera sky starter kit okay all right now i'm gonna take um my sigma flat definer looks like this and I'm gonna pick up makeup and chill, and I'm just gonna smudge that out um, the outer corner because I'm gonna put on some um, inner the some I don't know what am I saying some um, <laughs> waterline stuff liner, and I don't want there to be that big like space. Anyway, I think I had black on this, and I didn't run it in my color switch because I didn't want it to shake the table. Okay, and then back, go back with your pencil brush, and then just smudge. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Smudge away. I love that shade hot and bothered and that's why I want it. I love warm shadows and that shade is just mm, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to tank. I wanted to do brownie just because I did brown, but it. I'm, let me show you what it is. The Marc Jacobs um, liner and brownie. But you know what? I got this one and I'm so obsessed with it. It's the one, the same brand mark jacobs same type of liner in um fine wine i'm gonna go ahead and use it because it is just gorgeous even though i didn't do like um red or burgundy or anything like that it's still going to be really pretty it's still going to make your eye pop and bring out that orange look at that oh my goodness it's gorgeous okay get that i know i'm pulling my eye okay put that in the waterline then i'm going to do um, my wing eyeliner and my mascara and i'll be right back and we will do um, some new products that i bought on the face okay guys i'm back i did my winged eyeliner i used the kat von d in trooper and then i used my oh shaking the camera i used my holy grail essence lash princess i love this mascara if you not have not tried it please do and then i just touched up my um lower lash line a little bit smoked it out just a little bit more okay so the next thing we're going to go to is contour and i picked up this um another 21 days of beauty find this is the fiona styles sheer sculpting palette all fiona styles um cosmetics was 50 percent off so i got the one in medium dark just because the light one the lighter one lightest there's two looked too light for me i'll show you i mean look that's the medium dark so you can imagine the lighter one um i think what i'm gonna do is mix these two together so, and we'll just see how that goes. And I have my MAC 168 brush, my little angled contour brush. So, let's just go ahead. I'm still looking in my Natural Love Palette mirror. I'm lo That Natural Love Palette, I love it. I mean, look at this eye look. Pigmented, it's beautiful. Okay, and then this Fiona Styles packaging is really heavy, like really nice. This is like a metal. It's really nice. I'm like, my eyes look dark underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and forth into the... First two. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, and then tap it off. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to start going right into the hollows. Ooh, I can tell you already. This looks nice. Really, really nice. That is not, pa oh, look at that already. Like, that is not patchy at all. That is very smooth. See, look at that. That is perfect. Shoot. Okay. Other cheek. Again, I just went back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Does anybody ever find that one cheek always comes out, like, 
stunning and then the other one is like mud does anybody ever find that and I'm gonna tell you guys a little tip I usually do not do my contour the way I'm doing it what I usually do because when you want to get a good shadow on your face most of our vanities and stuff we're sitting there and our lights are coming right back on us like this that doesn't cast a shadow I'll tell you a little trick to really get if you have a hard time finding the hollow some people can you know do that when you immediately see the hollows of your cheeks um, or they will do like their ear and go down like measuring the easiest way is go in your bathroom all of our bathrooms most of our bathrooms have vanity mirrors on them and they're up you know they're above us go in your bathroom turn on the light and I guarantee you will see that my dog just shook everything that the light being up will cast a natural shadow and show you where to contour so if you're having trouble contouring do that just walk in your bathroom go to a different lighting and see if that helps okay so now I'm gonna do the forehead just a little bit and a little bit of the temples look at that already oh my gosh doesn't that make a difference like what does contouring the forehead do but it does something like look at that boom okay I'm silly I'm so glad you guys are here for me to talk to or I'd be like a really losery lonely person right now my babies are gone my man's gone everybody's gone I'm here by myself I got you guys though and I love you thank you like I wish you were all here and we could like have a little makeup party and we could all like share tips and makeup and do each other's makeup wouldn't that be fun let's do that let's get together Let's do that one day. Let's plan for that, okay? Okay. All right, so next thing is blush. And I got this palette. Tell me how, okay, let me put this up and I'll use this mirror. Tell me how gorgeous. Oh, leopard. This is Tar uh, Tarte's Z palette, like empty palette. And this thing is heavy. Let me tell you, like Z palettes have some weight to them. This has some weight. This is like a plastic thing. It's got a huge mirror. Now, the new part in here are these two blushes here. And look, don't they all look the same? Like basic B syndrome over here. Um, but these two right here are new. And I think I'm going to go for this one right here. This is a highlighter. And I have another, I ordered another highlighter. Ulta will only let you do two of the 21 Days of Beauty items. When I came home to order two more, there was only one thing in stock. And it was the highlighter. And I just so happened to have it. So I'm going to get, when that comes in, it's going to go there. Then I'm gonna go buy the rainbow highlighter and it's gonna go there and then I'm gonna get one more blush. So this is incomplete right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Morphe M403. This is the best blush brush. If you do not own this, you are missing out. This is perfect. I'm I know I've said it in a video before, this is perfect. So I'm taking that blush. I do not remember the color of it because I did away with the packaging, but I can try to find out and link it below. Okay, and then we're just going to apply right here it's just a very natural mauvey rosy br blush so it will really um, give us a little bit of color and then still see look at that just a little bit ooh ah, just a little bit okay next cheek ooh, ooh, a little bit more. you guys do not want to see you hear me saying like, girl no stop it Okay, blush is on. That is pretty. Shoot. Okay, next thing. Oh, oh, the Aurora palette. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so since we did a little bit of a halo with a gold lid, and I'm going to use my Sephora. This is Holy Grail status, my Sephora number 98. I even keep it in the little thing to keep its little shape. Okay, it looks like that. Perfect. Since we did a little bit of like a gold um, little lid, let's use Lyra. Here are the shades in that, by the way. Look at that. Oh, Anastasia, what are you doing to us? You are an alien. How do you do this? Like, when she, you think that it can't get any better, like Nicole, I thought that topped it. And then she comes out with some, some witchcraft like this. Okay, Lyra, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Lyra on my brush. Just a little bit. Okay, and then we're just gonna go in. We're gonna go right in. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I pick it up. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like gold. But then it's got this like red pinky like shift. Holy highlight. Look at that. Okay, more on the other side, Lyra. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Why is highlight so satisfying? Okay, a little bit on the nose. A little bit there. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab a little bit of Eclipse. That was that first shade. It's like kind of, um, this one right here, it's kind of the same, like, ooh. See, it's like, it's almost like Lyra, but like a lighter tone. So let's go ahead and hit right the tip, tippy top of our cheekbones with that. And just to like, yep, yeah, that did exactly what I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. I am glowing. Glowing. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Let me stirp. Okay, so that's it for that. All right, next and almost last. Something new I picked up is one of the new Too Faced Melted. Gorgeous. This is the one in Suck It. That's what it's called, I promise. It's vulgar Too Faced. You're vulgar. The vulgarity. Okay, and it's just a beautiful um, burgundy-ish, dark, mauve kind of Lolita, Kylie Jenner, what all of us girls are liking. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Okay, so they came out with six new shades, and out of all of them, this was the only one that I liked. One was a nude, and it was like a super, like, concealer lip nude. One was like a gray, but it was way too cool tone gray for me. It's very beautiful, but I like swatched on my hand. I was like, whoa, it looked like I took cement and put it on my lips. It would wash me out really badly. I already know it. So I grabbed this one and I love this formula. So I'm going to go apply. It'll take me forever. You guys don't want to watch it. It'll be like watching paint dry, literally. So I'm going to go apply and I will be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I put that on and look at that look how beautiful oh my gosh and it really goes with like the eye that we got going on and oh it's so pretty it's like a reddish mauve i don't even know i don't i honestly do not have anything like this i will tell you that this is very unique and let me say i think they changed the formula and if i could have that's not what i want to say as if I could, no, that's not what I want to say either. I thought I liked it before. The, the formula now is even better. It went on so smoothly. It was like, like butter going, well, no, that's gross, isn't it? Butter going on your lips. It was just so smooth that I was like, whoa. Like it just, I mean, it glided on like nothing. And it feels so good right now. Like it's dry. My lips are not sticking together like that. But it's not crusty dry to where I feel like, I'm dehydrated and it's sucking all the moisture out of my lips like this feels amazing so this is beautiful again it is in the shade okay last but not least the new th well one I've got a bunch of new setting sprays but this one I thought was like really interesting it is the it came with like there's no box or anything it came just like sitting there I had tape taping it shut with this little taggy it is the Tarte ready set can you see the Writing? Probably not. That's weird. Anyway, it's the Ready Set Radiant by Tarte. And it says it's the Skin Mist. And it says in the little taggy here, Ready Set Radiant. This refreshing, vegan-friendly skin mist brightens, fortifies, and smooths or soothes skin for a fresh face complexion. The glow-giving skin tonic is infused with antioxidant-packed cucumber, fruit, and plant extracts, and it delivers a radiant, dewy finish for lit-from-within luminosity. So it just says, I mean, like any other finishing spray, hold 10, 8 to 10 from your face, 8 to 10 inches from your face, and mist on the skin. Wear alone to illuminate skin or use in your skin care and makeup routine as the perfect prep, refresh, or spent finishing. I can't speak finishing spray. So let, I smelled it in the store. I've never used it yet. I smelled it in the store and it smelled very like fresh cucumber water kind of thing. I am, my skin type is combination oily um, around when Aunt Flo visits. I get oily in the T-zone, mostly here on my forehead. 
but usually I have some dryness, but I'm, you know, usually more towards the normal side. So I think, but this kind of, this says, um, the lit from within glow. So hopefully it won't be too oily, like some lumina or illuminating sprays that have that oil to them that will really, it'll just take an oily skin person over the top of their oil level and they don't want to do it. So hopefully this will be for like all skin types. So let me shut up, Ashley, shut up and drown myself. Okay, right away, it smells amazing. It is very, look, I literally just drowned myself. It, ooh, it does not taste bad. It, it is like such a fresh, like, cucumber melon. Not like cucumber, like the vegetable, you know, that. It's like a cucumber melon, almost perfumey, sweet. It almost tastes good. That's weird. It smells really good. So, oh, look at that glow. Ooh, 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 look at that glow. All right, guys, I hate to let you go. I'm just going to go probably edit this and get it up. And I thank you so much for sitting here and talking with me and or listening to me. You can't talk to me. But if you want to, you can leave a comment below and thumbs up this video if you would like for me to do more videos like that. And I promise I'm working on all those video suggestions you guys gave me, especially the collection video. And I think I'm going to do what I told you and break it up into sections. So if you think that's a good idea, thumbs up it and comment below. I love talking to you guys and I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.